Hello everyone, I have this week's weekly grocery haul. I did a Walmart delivery order today with just some fill-in items because my last two hauls from Walmart and Trader Joe's were pretty big. So we have a lot in the fridge and freezer in the pantry and I just needed a few things to get us through the week. I also wanted to show you guys some Easter items that I got. Also some birthday items that I picked up for my six-year-old. She is having a St. Patrick's Day themed birthday party this weekend. So I just wanted to throw it in my video. Um, I wanted to show you guys some Easter finds and also some St. Patrick's Day finds and decor and how we're going to set up her birthday party. So it's a little bit different this week and I hope you guys enjoy it. So over here, I didn't need another bag of tortilla chips. I still have my bag from Trader Joe's and it's unopened, but the great value one was on sale, so I grabbed another bag. My daughter likes to take Cheetos to school and her school snack, so I got a bag of that instead of the small individual bags because that was on sale for under $4. We also haven't had these fudge brownie little bites in a while, so I picked up one box. Walmart was all out of pita chips, so I grabbed the Club Original Crackers. Those are nice and buttery. I also got um, just one breakfast item. I got the frozen cinnamon French toast bites. I will air fry those up and then my kids will enjoy those with some syrup. My daughter loves Funyuns, so I grabbed her a 10-pack box of those. And then my other daughter loves Texas Toast um, with her mac and cheese and pastas. I wish my kids liked these Ritz peanut butter crackers, but those are just for me. I usually keep these in my purse so that I have something to snack on when I'm picking up my daughter or she's playing with her friends after school. Not much produce because I stopped by... Costco the other day and I grabbed a bag of apples. I just got some more bananas and then one lemon for my water. I also have some organic mini cucumbers. I just love slicing that up and adding some pink Himalayan salt on top. And I also got the Great Value Hickory Smoked Bacon just for breakfasts. I got the Hershey's Milk Chocolate Egg. My daughter's friend gave her one at school and she really liked it. So I just thought I could have this in the house like in a candy bowl or something. I got another bag of Great Value flour tortillas. I used up the last one for quesadillas and turkey pinwheels. So I grabbed another one and we also needed more bread. I think I went through two loaves of bread last week. So I got the Nature's Own Butter Bread. We also just have one more egg left in the fridge. So I grabbed an 18 count. And then I usually just get one Lunchables for my daughter's um, short day at school. But since spring break is coming up, I wanted to have extra on hand, whether they just snack on it at home as like a mini meal or when we're out on the go, we can have a little something and we don't have to buy anything. I also got four cups of noodles. I know it's not the greatest thing to eat, but sometimes, at least in our house, we just need some ramen. I also got this big pack of chocolate pudding. It comes with the milk chocolate and the chocolate fudge and milk chocolate swirl. This was about $3 and 20 something cents. So I thought that was really good for that big box. And then the last few items, I got some of the Fairlife whole milk. My kids have been liking that. I also got our coffee creamer, the silk almond creamer in the sweet and creamy flavor. I also needed some unsalted butter for garlic pasta one night and then some whipped cream. My kids needed more of their uh, Aveeno eczema therapy lotion. They also needed some of their toothpaste. So my three-year-old is now practicing with mouthwash, kids mouthwash. So I wanted to get these little cups so that my two daughters can um, share the mouthwash and just Pour the mouthwash in here and not share the little cap that comes in the mouthwash if that makes sense so i grabbed that that was just a couple dollars and then the last um grocery household item is this pack of gallon freezer bags so those were all my fill-in items and if you guys are interested in the easter and the birthday and saint patrick's day party items then just keep watching all right, I'm gonna start with the Easter items. So to start, I bought some Easter eggs from Walmart. These were 98 cents for a pack of 12. I thought this would be the cheapest um, place to find it, but actually Dollar Tree has a lot of options and really cute Easter eggs. So I think next year I will get my eggs from Dollar Tree store. But anyway, I got four packs of these. And then also from Walmart, I got these um, Smarties. It's a box of Smarties and these were $1. I got four of those. I also got um, some band-aids for my goddaughter who loves Paw Patrol. I thought she would like that in her basket. 
And then my niece and my two daughters love Hello Kitty. So I got them these lip balms from Target. These were $4.99. They're ages three to seven, and so they love things like this. So I know it's gonna be worth it and that they're gonna love it. And then I got my nephew the same thing, but um, a Spider-Man version. This set was from Walmart. Um, it's the Sally Hansen and Peeps collaboration. It's actually a gift for my daughter. Her birthday is before Easter, but she loves anything Peeps and she loves when I paint her nails. So I got her this set. It's the Peeps Yellow and the Peeps Lavender. I'm also going to be putting in these mini M&Ms in the kids' Easter baskets. Or I'm actually making them um, bags. I didn't really feel like getting bulky baskets. So this is from Target. It was $5 for a pack of five gift bags with different um, designs on it. So that was perfect, just a dollar each. I already showed you these Hershey um, milk chocolate eggs. And from Target, I got these Lint um, bunnies and chicks. And the set came with five of each. So that was perfect because I'm making five bags. From the Dollar Tree store, I picked up these color scents markers because my two daughters, they love just drawing all day, every day. And to go with that, I got them um, some notebooks also from the Dollar Tree. Of course, it has to match because that's the only way things will be fair between sisters. But um, they love anything rainbow too. So I just thought that was perfect and it will fit in their little bag. It's either going to be an Easter bag filler or I'm just going to give it to them with their outfit. But it is this um, Peeps headband. It was $5.74. And it's just so cute. Um, actually, when I was at the Dollar Tree, they did have something similar. It did not look exactly like this, you know, classic Peeps look, but I would be happy giving um, the Dollar Tree version to my kids too. But this is just what I found first. So um, my kids are going to wear that and it's going to match their outfit here. I'll show you my girls' outfits first. Um, it is this Peeps pink dress. Um, super cute with this... Um, tulle skirt at the bottom of the dress it's a tank top but it comes with this shirt that goes over and that's perfect because we are planning on doing an early morning easter egg hunt at a local park so they're for sure going to need um, something more than a tank top um, so it just says chilling with my peeps with the peeps bunnies the hood has bunny ears so i really like that too this was about 14 dollars. i got a size six and a size four to five for my two daughters. And then to match, my little boy is gonna wear this one. This is the smallest size it came in. It's the extra small size four to five, and he's only a year and a half, and he's in a size two T. But I figured I could just tuck this into his pants and it'll still be fine. This was $5.98, so my son will probably wear that with some black pants. So those were all the Easter things. Let me show you all the St. Patrick's Day birthday items. Okay, thank you guys so much if you've made it this far, but this is going to be my daughter's birthday, um, St. Patrick's Day themed birthday party and birthday giveaway, birthday present part of the video. So we're having a party with her kindergarten class and she requested a St. Patrick's Day theme, so this is what I got her. So let's start with the centerpiece. Um, my idea was to have um, a leprechaun hat a little leprechaun plushie. These were from Party City, um, along with these three um, pots that I got from Amazon. There's a smaller one inside. And I'm going to fill these pots with um, these plastic uh, coins, gold and green coins. I wanna fill it um, in this pot and have one pot kind of spilling over. And I also got this pot that came with 60 uh, green bead necklaces. I figured all the kids plus their parents can enjoy that as another little favor. And so I got three of these hats. So two for the centerpieces and then one with this pot. And I just imagined the hat kind of like tilted on the side of the pot. As far as party favors, I didn't want to give the kids just like a huge bag of candy and like junk toys. So I just got this small little um, burlap kind of sack that I will be putting the Lucky Charms in. So these are like little bars of like a Lucky Charms cereal bar. I got these at Walmart and I'm just gonna put one in. So that's basically the only food item in here. And I got these, um, little shamrock squeezies, kind of like Orbeez, I guess. 
And it's nice they're individually wrapped because you know these are really sticky. So I'm just gonna put that in there, this, and a few coins. And I know that's really simple, and for me it's a little bit different. I'm used to making the favors a little bit bigger, but I'm just gonna keep it simple. And then also we have some um, customized cookies that I ordered, and they're in the shape of the Lucky Charms marshmallows. So I figured, you know, this little party favor bag, maybe a little green um, beaded necklace, plus the customized cookie, like that's what they're gonna take home, and I feel like that is more than plenty. So as far as food goes, so the venue provides pizza and Capri Suns and sodas for the adults. And I wanted to um, add in a little snack and I wanted to make sure that it was gluten-free and dairy-free because um, a couple of my daughter's friends um, do have those dietary restrictions. So I grabbed six bags of these skinny pop popcorns. Um, yeah, there's gonna be about 24, 25 kids with the pizza, the juice, and this, that is what the kids are gonna be eating. I mentioned these coins, and these are from Amazon. I will try to link um, as much of these items as I can in the description box below. I'm pretty sure when I post this, um, St. Patrick's Day is over, but just in case. I got a gold table cover. This is from Walmart. It was 97 cents, I believe. I was thinking of having gold for the gift table and then just green for all the other tables where the kids are going to sit and the party favorite table and then the kids can have their pizza and popcorn on these gold paper plates that I got at Walmart and these were 97 cents as well. The green um, tablecloths are from the Dollar Tree and so that was $1.25. This gold candle was also from Walmart and it was 97 cents. Yeah, that is everything for a birthday party. I'm gonna get the cake at Nothing But Cakes. It's gonna be the chocolate chocolate. So of course the birthday party is on the weekend and then her actual birthday is during the week. And so she's gonna be at school and the kids in class, they just like to give a little favor to their friends whenever it's their birthday. So I was thinking of just having something small um, and I found these little, not really friendship bracelets, but they are still bracelets from Amazon. So it's just a simple bracelet with a star. And it just came with a bunch of different colors. The pack came with 24, which is perfect because there's 23 in her class. And so her sister, my other daughter, can have one too. So I'm just going to put one bracelet in this little bag. Um, these two were from Amazon. So with these, I was going to add a tag that you know has my daughter's name. She is six, like six years old. And I was gonna write, it's my birthday, thank you for being a great friend, love my daughter's name. So that was just my idea for her classroom party favor. So two more birthday related events. So this is what we're just gonna have at home. This happy birthday poster was $1.97 on the Walmart app, which was really good. So I'm just gonna put that on our wall at home. These we will scatter on the table just for my two daughters. I mean, my one year old can, play with this too, under my watch of course. We'll just have these scattered on the table. This was $1.50 and then I think this was $2.50. They're just streamers in different colors. I'll just put this in front of her bedroom door um, so when she wakes up she has a nice little surprise. And then over here when we celebrate with um, my side of the family at my mom's house we're actually going to do like a movie night slumber party with my niece and nephew and they all love trolls so for their movie night portion of the night they're gonna um, get to pick one of these juices these good to grow juices which are pretty pricey right um, I got the raspberry lemonade the orange mango this is raspberry lemonade too and then these um, fruit punch ones so there's four of the kids so I just grabbed these ones and they can pick whichever flavor they want and hopefully they don't fight over the characters and then I found this oh so these were from Target, and then I found these little popcorn boxes from the Dollar Tree store. Thought that was cute for them to have while they watch their movie. They're probably gonna watch the Trolls movie. And then the last few things are just gifts that my husband and I are gonna give her. So we're gonna give her that nail polish set that I just showed a moment ago, and she loves to draw, like I mentioned. So I found these on sale at Target, and she really likes to draw with Sharpies because we watch um, Art Hub for Kids on YouTube, and they sometimes draw with Sharpies, and my daughter only has a black one, so I thought she would really like this. 
the birthday bags at my Target were on sale, so I got this one for like a dollar and change. And then the last few items are just a few other nail polishes. I got these at Target too, just the Sally Hansen, a couple of glitter ones, and then I mentioned she loves purple, so I got her this LA Girl one. I just grabbed the cheapest brand, and I really like that Sally Hansen nail polish anyway. So that was everything. I know it was a little bit of a different video this week, but I just thought I would share with you guys what was happening in my life currently. My brain is a little bit scattered with all these different events, but it's just super exciting and my daughter is just really excited to turn six years old. So I appreciate you guys watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!